Hi everyone and welcome to Ali's Way Tarot. I'm Ali <laughs> and welcome to the She's My Channel um, where I channel spirit babies, celebrities, twin flames, astrology, and more. Um, today we're going to do spirit babies and so pick your Frida Kahlo, whichever Frida you, that your heart desires. You can choose the pink one with lots of beautiful spring colors. You can also choose the right one with yellow and a little hint of pink. Um, a disclaimer is that this is intuitive from my side and I'm a psychic medium so there will be times where I pause. When I pause, I'm just getting messages. I get a lot of downloads. I'm only one person so it's going to take me some time to channel you know, everything that needs to come out but um, I will pause at times. I also need to drink water because as the summer is getting warmer, I'm filming this in the spring, close to summer. I have asthma and that takes me a while and I need to drink some water. But nonetheless, um, you could pick your pile left or right. Left right here is the pile one and the right is pile two. Okay. If you want to get an in-depth look at your life, you can book a reading. The link is in down below and it's also in my bio. Um, again, these are general readings, so it takes what resonate. You could choose both or you could choose all. As I am blooming and getting bigger, there are the dark side of spirituality, like scammers, right? So just be mindful. My name is A L L Y S W A Y T A R O T. Ali's Way Tarot. <laughs> so I think I spelled that right. Yeah. But anyway just make sure that you watch the spelling because i'm getting bigger and you know these things do happen um but it won't happen to me let's manifest that uh again this is for the spur babies this is today's topic i'm gonna get into this and we're gonna get into a lot of juicy stuff about the retrograde and how your babies want to give you some messages on that okay and i'll see you at your pile hello hola uh pile one so i'm gonna get into your um angel number first because obviously the retrograde is about astrology and planets and so i'm going to use the angel numbers so you could see the frequency it says that i am oh that's going in a pile it says that i am tactful right you have a desire to succeed and still feel most accomplished when your benefits when you when your work benefits others see i see something sometimes i see things that aren't there it's all part of my gift your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs and you have to claim that you're tactful so it says i am tactful okay let's put that up there because i'm going to get into your reading Before we start, let's look at some signs that your children would like to give to you, okay? I pre-shoveled everything because I'm mindful of your time and mine, okay? So we've got green. we got a frog. A sandbox. Light flicker. Let me just put that over here, yeah and visions okay so sandbox visions like flicker green and frog are some of the signs that your spare baby wants that's like the red flag like hey mama hey daddy i'm here okay waving that flag to you i'm gonna do tarot it may be loud or a little uncomfortable to hear i wanted to do that on camera it can be really or i mean of course they're all for you but I wanted to be like in front of you when I did that because you know I just felt that guidance to do so. The question of today will be what do you need to know about the retrograde when it comes to you? So it's kind of like an astrology reading, but it's not because it comes from your spirit babies. Okay. We've got the two of wands right here. Mm, that's pretty. The wheel, the, the world, the wheel and the world look very similar in this deck. Um, we've got seven of pentacles. 
Hold on, I'm actually going to put that up a little higher. King of Swords. Okay. And I'm going to get one more. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Let's just tilt the camera a little bit. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, with the Two of Wands right here, this is basically saying that you're stuck between two worlds, okay? And then when you go up here to the world, things are changing. The Seven of Pentacles is lots of opportunities. The King of Swords is the man who stands within himself. And the Nine of Pentacles is also about um, the seeds that you bear, the, the fruits that you have, you know what I'm saying? And that you're making them bigger and better. That's what it's talking about. So in a sense, this retrograde is here to help you ascend to the highest dimensions um, from your soul contract and helping you to evolve into a new stage of your life, right? That's what your spirit baby wants you, wants you to know. Now, I pulled some from multiple decks, but I pulled from this particular deck, the animal deck of what animal is going to be around you as well, along with the signs that you just saw. And it said swan and union. So some of you can be in a twin flame union or it could be a soulmate union, doesn't matter. Or a union with yourself and it's union coming together. So you partner with this, it's like a retrograde and an equinox at the same time. Very funny because that never really happens much. Um, retrograde is a lot is meant to press and bring up it's like a full moon phase for a month right so full moons are here for a week to kind of bring out and purge you retrograde does that as well for a whole month so sometimes it could be for two months and like we know last year we had a retrograde for a, a good chunk of it around 10 months so it's meant to like really push you to ascend you and equinox is a spring energy so you're bringing out of the toxicity toxicity Sorry, I get tongue-tied because I channel so much. Um, yeah, and then moving forward, you get that that spring kind of energy, okay? It's funny because it's raining right now. Like, that showers of blessings. I'm not sure if you can hear it from, my, from your view, but from my view, I can. And it's showers of blessings for you. You're getting into union with your soul partner. You're getting into union with yourself. You're getting into union with your pentacles. Hence the reason there's so many of them right here. Um, the man showing twice also means that your soul partner as well is, um, what's the word? I'm trying to find it. Is, is growing his, his fruits or could gender, doesn't matter, okay? It could be his or her. I'm not discriminative, but in this sense, it's men fit photos here. So, you know, your soul partner could be um, growing his pentacles, growing new opportunities to get into union with you and preparing himself for the union. That makes sense. I hope it does. If you don't understand it, please comment. I like when you guys comment. Can you comment and let me know that you like understand me? You share me, subscribe to me, and like. <laughs> that means a lot to me when I know that I'm not talking to myself. Let me know if it resonates. And if it doesn't, you can say so as well. I'm not offended. Um, some time frames that I channel pretty quickly too. So I know your readings can be like six, seven minutes. Um, it's not that I'm rushing it. I just get like direct downloads i don't get downloads that are everywhere if that makes sense now why ask what time frames that are going to help you ascend to your personal highest even though the retrograde and the equinox are emerging together when are you going to finally get that what's the word that it the it factor of i'm done with the mission i'm done working hard right the, the opportunity to eat your fruits when is that going to happen now it says time after time so time after time you do win and time after time i know you go through this journey but it says that if july is very significant to you make it sooner right i feel like that for that i'm gonna get into that and time will tell okay those two are very heavy so july is expected what spirit is saying make it make it happen sooner as you can manifest it right now because you have the power to do any and everything time will tell because time is up to you right so yes they want you to have it in july if not sooner but it's up to you because you're so good at what you do you're so amazing at who you are and they want you to be able to manifest and meditate on you if that makes sense to you 
All right, now I asked one more question for your spirit baby's message. It said, all is well and I love you so much. So stop over, um, over analyzing, stop stressing. There's nothing to worry about at all, actually. And another spirit baby message is, Archangel Sandophon says that your root chakra is blocked. Tell him your worries, mama and daddy, so he can take them to God and get your prayers answered. When your root chakra is blocked, you can't function at all because that's basically the source of your entire chakra system. When that's blocked, your sacral will be blocked, which is your creative energies, the energies that you were born to do things in the world with and create, even sexual energy as well. When your solar is blocked, you don't have good self-esteem. When your heart is blocked, you can't give and receive love or nurturing in any kind of way. When your third eye is blocked, you cannot manifest because your pineal gland is where you manifest and meditate on. And when your crown is blocked and you're arrogant and ignorant, you learn nothing. So yes, your root chakra does affect you very, very much. And you know, there's lots of free meditations some are even 10 minutes on here on YouTube. So they can help you with that. If you need help, I can link one or two down below. And I hope that will help you. Let me pull from the deck that I made for myself. I have a deck that is coming. Um, but I wrote some of them out for the meantime. Because I just love that. Let me just clean some of this beautiful things up. And then I will pull them out. I'm just going to take the first row because I could do the back rows easy. Okay. Now, this is a spare baby deck from that I made for myself. What would you like to tell your mom or your dad? Okay. Excuse the penmanship. <laughs> I'm getting them typed up. But it says, um, there will be union. So here we go again with the union. Um, I'm not going to come unless it's with your twin flame. Wow. So if you were thinking about replacing their daddy, they're not coming. Or their mommy. Keep going, champ. Let's get one more. Oh, two more fell out. Okay. That's fine. Autumn is the month. Spring is the month. So between... Well, spring is almost finished, so... Between May and I'm seeing November, something significant will happen. Very funny that it said time after time before, and it said um, time will tell. So again, it's up to you, but July was like the month month. Oh wait, let's pull one more. You have to stop crying over spoiled milk, and your partner is so sorry, okay? hope that resonated with you about one and i will do your pendulum question after i clean up all of this okay i'll be right back okay paul one think of a question and we're gonna pull it in three two one okay it says quizás for you that for those of you that don't speak spanish it says maybe Right? So maybe I will see you in the next one and I hope that you booked a reading with me. Subscribe, like and share, okay? Tell your friends and you know, put your bell notifications on because I know that YouTube when you if you do subscribe and you put the bell without the little ring emoji, you get some of my videos, but I want you to see all of them. So make sure that you keep the bell notifications on. Watch all my videos, subscribe, like, and share, and I hope to see you in many, many more. Book a reading with me so we can know about your personal life, you know, get into more deeper chisme gossip, and um, chisme means gossip, and um, watch me on Instagram and on TikTok, okay? I hope to see you in the future. Have a great day. Happy retrograde. Hi, pal too, and welcome to your spare baby reading your message i am ali from ali to tarot like i said in the beginning uh, make sure that you watch out for scammers and stuff like that so today we're going to channel about what the retro gay wants to tell you but through your spirit babies okay i'm gonna do an angel number because it's all divination it's all synchronicities and frequency and 
you know, that could be really well for your astrology. So today we have the number eight and it says, I am successful. So make sure that you keep that as a mantra for I'm successful. And it says your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are help. You are self. I said you are help. Maybe Spirit wants to say you're help. <laughs> you are self sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. And then there was a honk outside. Yes. <laughs> and representing the end. The end? The ebb. I'm sorry. The ebb and loss. The infinite aloof of creation. And your mantra is I am successful. For those of you that want to see it, look. Your ebb and flow in the infinite loop of creation. I've never heard of ebb and flow. I have to Google that out. <laughs> okay. Let's bring that back down. So we're gonna go to the put this to the right because you know I have messages for you. Why not? We're gonna go into some of the signs and the synchronicities. That your children have for you right more baby signs which is a synchronicity so your children have for you um tv commercial so any tv commercial daydream so when you daydream you're actually going up to the spiritual realm with them and speaking to them on a 5d level the color yellow hence the reason you have yellow that's really cool and purple you've got daddy's name and one more is dandelion okay so just okay so tv commercials tv commercials daydream dandelion purple daddy's name and yellow okay all right now let's put this to the side just a little bit nothing crazy just a little bit okay now I'm going to pull some tarot on camera, and I'm sorry for the noise that it makes. I don't like really doing that on camera because it makes a weird no noise. <laughs> but I felt like doing this one on camera. The other ones I pre-shuffle because I'm mindful of your time and your energy as well as mine. So, you know, but this one I felt guided to do on camera. So let's see what we've got for the retro game. I'm sorry for the noise. You can turn me down if you don't want Got the wheel up here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Justice. Very nice. Strength. Ah. Six of Swords. And I'll pull two more. Death. And we've got Eight of Cups. Wow. In the back of the deck we've got high priestess that's pretty <laughs> now that's really really pretty and all seriously all right i'll just i guess i'll start with um let's start with this first okay i'll start with this one the wheel so with the wheel we've got a turning kind of energy the justice is that's right it's making sure that what you're changing what you're doing spirit agrees with it's divine and the strength is Leo energy, summer energy. It also means what it says, strength. You've picked up the strength to change with the wheel to change. And it's right. It's right change. Death is also like, like the wheel. It's change. It's transformation. And the death is six of swords and the eight of cups. Both the energies are walking away and letting go and releasing. So with that energy here. It seems like you have no more space and no more time for the BS. <laughs> um, you're just dismissing people and dismissing things and you're aware, very tapped in. Um, with this energy, it's telling me that you are a divine being. Not that pile one wasn't, of course pile one is, but it's a different kind of energy. I feel like with your pile, you're more awakened of third eye. You're aware of how to meditate and manifest, especially with this high priestess in the back. And it's funny look at that the fool and the six of cups yeah you're you're like this high priestess energy you see how the crown chakra is activated and the white is protecting you're, you're awake so awake in the crown and the fool is at the back of that deck 
and then we've got the six of cups with the past energy and then we've got here the four of swords so your past relationship must have given you some type of anxiety even here with the lovers it's a confirmation of that and then the back of that deck we got the five of wands so you used to fight a lot with your soul partner I'm getting twin flame, <laughs> but you used to fight a lot with your soul partner and now you're like, I don't have any space. I don't have any time for any of that. I'm just going to focus on me. And you probably still do want the union, but right now you're like, are you available for me? Because if you're not available for me, then I'm going to focus on me first and then you're going to come in because when I align, obviously you will align as well very tapped in energy you're like a divine feminine even if you're a man watching you have you're embodying your divine feminine energy and taking back your power and calling in your inner goddess i call this call myself the ocean goddess that loves pink and gold and today i didn't say it i know i didn't <laughs> if you go and watch my readings i usually say it in the beginning i honestly it's not that i didn't want to i was like oh wait a minute i forgot to say that i'm the ocean goddess <laughs> Because I need to clear my energy. Obviously, that means that subconsciously, I'm not feeling like my best, right? With this retrograde and equinox, it's coming to kick people's ass, pretty much. It's coming in. Retrograde is, like I said before in the first pile, but I'm going to say it again here. Retrograde is um, like a full moon phase where full moon always brings out the, not the worst in you, but the deep seated fears and, and insecurities about you retrograde does that but it does that for a month sometimes many months i know last year it was around nine or ten months basically the almost the whole year retrograde was here to like bring out that fear push that out but we've got an equinox also aligning with this retrograde and with that it's bringing out the the worst of you obviously to heal but the best in you so you can shine with the spring energy equinox is a spring kind of energy it's a loving energy um, it's not meant to hurt you at all. I mean, neither one of the two are, except sometimes retrograde may trigger you, where Equinox is a lovey-dovey kind of Venus kind of energy. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a embracing kind of energy. So yes, you may burn with the retrograde, but the Equinox is going to give you a hug and nurse you back to life, right? Um, now, I asked what kind of time frames and you're going to get your 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 uh, mangoes and your pineapples and get to eat them off of the tree that you worked so hard to build and i push off of these and it said here march it's time to reflect out of time and two to three years okay but this right here march could be your month of your birth it could also be in your chart it also can mean that sometime within two to three years march is going to be the month for you you do feel like you are running out of time and you want to you need time to reflect and you also i feel like you want time to reflect and you should definitely go for something that encourages you to reflect right all right now i asked for an animal from your spirit babies about what they need to tell you and they chose the groundhog but that's again spring and spring so something very significant is happening next spring or within two to three years of that spring okay again this is a general take what resonates you need a personal for me to get into your life so on your pile which you chose intuitively it's saying march and it's saying here spring you must dig deeper so you need to go into that's what it says in the card you must dig deeper you need to um you need to reflect basically you need to dig deeper because you need time to reflect and when you have time to reflect dig deeper as you do that okay your children also want you to let you know that um i will love i will love to learn i want to absorb all the knowledge that i can it also could be the month of conception um archangel Raphael says that your heart chakra is blocked and you must love and respect yourself mama and daddy so you can feel more happier and empowered when your heart chakra is open you have a lot of love to give and receive and when it's blocked sometimes you hold on to the past hence the reason we saw that five of wands energy and the anxiety with your soul partner that is telling very very telling that you have a lot of things that you need to heal when it comes to your relationship with your soul partner okay now let's just take these out for a second and i'm going to use my deck i made for myself 
excuse the penmanship they're getting typed and shipped and we're gonna get them soon but until then we're typing them we're writing them <laughs> and we're gonna work on that but it says right here this i will shuffle on camera as well hold on i'm not going to come unless it's with your soul partner let's pull like four of them i'm seeing the number four maybe you love the number four let's see what do we got oh okay wow lie to your boss and take a day off for you clean your house okay i'm gonna get into that one and why i wrote it the way i did have some cake <laughs> there will be union okay this right here this clean your house i go that one came out too lie to your boss <laughs> clean your house um when i wrote that it says basically spiritual cleaning it wasn't well you could do as well sweeping and brooming and, and you know changing your bed sheets and stuff when i wrote that though i meant go to the botanicas go to the, the store the spiritual store and go get a cleaning well you don't have to go get it from them but you can go pick up some stuff from the store um some of the stuff would be uh go away evil and um you know i'm trying to figure out some abundance protection there's so many um let your spare babies guide you with that one but i'm just naming a few that i know of cut and clear would be cut to evil and clear your home those are a few okay pick those up from the store go put them in water and not all of that half of the bottle with some water and mop your house and put some lemon inside of it you want to cut the lemons in halves right and put that inside and wash your house and you will see that um that's a spiritual cleaning you need to remove what blockages and negative entities could be in your home okay now let's pull two more because i really really feel guided and it says right here my daddy is your twin flame okay one more that one fell what does it say Okay, there's two that fell. Drink more water. I am a picky eater. So your baby is a picky eater. And the back of that deck says, I shared past lives with you. So drink some water, hydrate. You are enough. If you don't know that, I'm going to tell you it. And you need to go heal if you have a nine to five job or a daytime or nighttime job that doesn't involve you owning your own company then you need to take a day off and if you own your own company then have someone that you really trust be in charge of management for at least a week if that's too long for your body then okay maybe a day or two and heal and reflect and ascend and that's what i have for you i'm going to clean this all up and then we're going to do pendulum okay i hope this resonated with you please like subscribe and share let your friends know that i'm awesome and i'm legit and i'm fun and welcome to my family i, I see you all as family um put your book your bell notifications on with the rangi uh, emoji because sometimes they don't let, let you notify and that way you can get more readings up more yeah more free readings and um, I do spirit babies, I do twin flames, I do astrology and celebrities, and I really want to do a finance. I, I feel like that's God calling me. So we'll see what we get up with in the future. But right now, I wanted to say thank you for everything. Like, subscribe, subscribe, please subscribe. That means so much to me. And um, share and comment. Please comment. Let me know that I'm not talking to a wall. And I, I want to, even if it resonates a little bit or some of it or all of it, let me know something. All right. And thank you so much. And I appreciate you. All right, pal two, think of a question, whatever it could be. And we're going to swing the pendulum in three, two, and one. Okay, it says C. So the answer to your question is yes. Okay, 
I hope it resonated with you. Like I said, like, subscribe, and share. Put the bell notification on to Ali's Way Tarot. I am yours, psychic person. I want to be your family and your friend. And I hope to see you in the next one, okay?